how to create a Google Ads account. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a Google Ads account from scratch, even if you've never done it before. I'll keep it simple and show you exactly what to do, step by step. Just make sure you stick around till the end so you don't miss anything important. All right, let's jump right into it. So first, open up your browser, any browser you like, Chrome works best, and just head over to ads.google.com. Or if you don't feel like typing all that, you can just go to Google and type in something like Google Ads, and it'll show up as the very first result. Either way works fine. It's the same website. Once you land on the page, you'll see the Google Ads homepage. This is where all the magic happens. It's basically your control center for creating and managing your ad campaigns. And since this is a Google service, it's super easy to get started, especially if you already have a Google account. You won't have to go through a complicated sign-up process. As long as you're logged into your Google account, you're pretty much halfway there already. Now, look for the Start Now button. It's usually somewhere near the top right corner of the page. Just go ahead and click on that to begin setting up your very first Google Ads account. That'll take you straight into the setup flow where you can begin building your first campaign. All right, now once you've clicked on that Start Now button, Google is gonna guide you through setting up your very first campaign. It's actually a pretty straightforward process. They've broken it down into just a few simple steps. Basically, all you need to do is add some basic business info, create your actual ad, and then set your budget. That's really it. It might sound like a lot, but trust me, it's not as overwhelming as it might seem. So right here on the screen, you'll see an option that says something like, create your first campaign or get started with ads. Go ahead and click on that. Once you do, it'll take you to the section where you start entering your business details. And this is just basic stuff like your business name, and more importantly, where you want people to go after they click on your ad. That could be your website, your online store, maybe a product page, or even a link to your app if you've got one. You just paste that in and you're good to go. And hey, if you're not super ready to set up everything at this point, there's usually a little link somewhere on the page that lets you skip this guided flow and jump straight into creating the campaign manually. Google sometimes moves it around depending on updates, but it's usually something like switch to expert mode or set up an account without a campaign. If you spot that and you'd rather just explore things on your own, feel free to click it. But for now, I recommend just going through this step-by-step -step process so you get a feel for how everything works. It's kind of like training wheels for your first campaign. It keeps things simple and helps you learn the ropes without throwing you into the deep end right away. So if it looks a little different on your end, don't worry, you're not going crazy. Anyway, once you're on this part of the setup, you're gonna see a section where it asks for your business name. Now, technically this part is optional. You can skip it if you really want to but I'd still recommend filling it in. It just helps keep things neat and organized and it gives your ad a bit more of a professional feel. Plus, if you're running multiple campaigns down the road, having that name in there helps you quickly know which ad is tied to what. Right below that, you're gonna be asked where people should be sent after they click your ad. And this is super important. You've got a few options here. It could be your business's website, maybe your online store, or even just a product page you're trying to promote. If you've got an app, there's usually an option to link directly to your app download page too, whether it's on the App Store or Google Play. Or if you're a service-based business, maybe you want people to just call you. So you can put in your business phone number and Google will actually use that in your ad so people can tap and call you right away. So yeah, think about where you want your potential customers to land. You wanna make sure it's a page that looks good, has the info they're looking for, and ideally, makes it easy for them to take action. Like buy something, sign up, call you, whatever your goal is. All right, so once you've typed in your business name and the destination where people should go after clicking your ad, just go ahead and hit that next button. Now what's gonna happen is, Google's gonna take a quick second to review what you've entered so far, just making sure things make sense and everything's in place before moving forward. Once that's done, you'll land on a screen with a few more options. This part is pretty cool because it gives you a chance to connect your Google Ads account with other services you might be using. For example, you can link it with Google Merchant Center if you're selling products online, or connect your YouTube channel if you're planning to run video ads. You can also link a mobile app if you've got one, 
or any other platforms that are part of your digital presence. Now, if all of that sounds a bit overwhelming, or if you're not using any of those other services just yet, no worries at all. There's an option right there that lets you skip this entire step and move forward. You don't have to set this up right now. It's just there for convenience in case you're ready for it. Now, this is where things start to take shape. First, Google's gonna ask you to pick a goal for your campaign. This is basically what you want people to do when they see your ad, so the system can help you structure everything around that. Just give it a sec to load, and once it does, you'll see a few options pop up. You've got things like purchases, phone calls, submitting a lead form, page views, and even brand awareness. So let's say your main goal is to get more people visiting your website. You're gonna go ahead and pick the page views option. If the goal you're looking for doesn't show up in that first list, just click on the little see more option and that'll expand the full list of campaign goals. Google gives you quite a few to choose from, which is great because it lets you tailor your ads based on what you're trying to achieve. Now let's say you're picking get more page views like we are in this example. Just select that and once you've got it locked in, you can scroll down and hit next to move on to the next step. This is gonna make sure everything that follows, like what kind of ads you create, how you target people, and even how your budget is optimized, is all centered around that specific goal you picked. It's a small step, but a super important one because it tells Google Ads exactly what kind of results you're aiming for. This is where you get to define who actually sees your ads. Basically, you're telling Google, hey, show this to the kind of people who are already searching for stuff like mine. So you'll see a section here called search themes. And this is where you'll type in words or short phrases that someone might use on Google when they're looking for something like your product or service. So for example, if you're selling handmade candles, you could use themes like soy candles, scented candles, eco-friendly home decor, and things like that. These aren't strict keywords in the old school sense. They're more like general topics that help Google know what your business is all about. And don't stress about getting this perfect the first time. You can always come back later and adjust your search themes once you get some data and see what's working. Now, if you wanna just keep things moving and skip this part for now, sometimes it'll let you do that. But if not, just drop in a few quick search themes that describe your product well, so you can move forward. After that, it's time to actually create your ad, the part people will see when they search on Google. So Google will already have your final URL in place. That's the link you want people to visit. And now it's gonna suggest a few headlines and descriptions based on what it thinks your website is about. You'll probably see it pulling some words directly from your homepage or whatever URL you added earlier. This is where you can go ahead and tweak the headline, add something eye-catching, something relevant, and maybe throw in your main value prop, like free shipping, handmade in the USA, 50% off first order, whatever makes sense for your business. Same thing for the description, keep it short but clear and persuasive. You've got the option to customize your ad with your own keywords, headlines, and descriptions. But Google also gives you a head start with auto-generated suggestions based on your website or what you've entered so far. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll notice that Google has already pre-filled some content for you, headlines, descriptions, and even keyword ideas. These are AI-generated assets that Google thinks might work well for your campaign. You'll also see a little optimization score. That score is just Google's way of saying how complete or optimized your ad is based on its own best practices. Now here's the thing, you don't have to use what Google suggests. If you're not really feeling the AI-generated stuff, you can absolutely delete everything it added and just write your own copy. All right, so once your ad content is all filled in, whether you used AI to generate it or you typed it in yourself, you're gonna see this little live preview area pop up. You'll see a bunch of examples, like what it'll look like in YouTube ads, both when it's collapsed and expanded, how it'll appear inside Gmail, what the ad format will look like in a Google search result, even previews for apps like Google Sheets and in the Discover section. It's kind of cool how detailed this is because you get to visualize how your ad will be seen by your audience in all kinds of places. You can also toggle between device views, which I really like. Just flip between the desktop preview and the mobile preview to get a sense of how it looks on different screens. Then off to the side, you'll see your ad strength indicator. 
that basically gives you a quick score or rating based on how complete or engaging your ad is. Since we used some AI-generated content here, that's why it's already giving us a fairly decent strength rating. But if you want to improve it even more, you can just add more variety in your headlines, maybe use more keywords, or just tweak a few lines to make them sound a little more natural. But yeah, once you're happy with the look and feel of everything, you're basically good to go. The ad is all set up, it looks clean across platforms, and it's ready to be shown to the world. Next up, you'll see the long headline section. Then we've got images. I definitely recommend uploading some good quality images of your site or your product. And if you've got videos, even better, go ahead and drop those in too. You can also add site links here, which are just links to different parts of your website. Super useful if you've got a few pages you want visitors to check out. Now after that, you'll come to the call to action button. Google usually sets this automatically based on your site, but if you want to change it, you can. If you're running a store, you can go with Shop Now. If it's a newsletter or blog, maybe sign up or subscribe. There's options like contact too. I'm just going to stick with automatic for now, but feel free to switch it based on what fits best. Click Next. And now we're pretty much wrapping it up. You'll see your ad summary. Now it's time to choose your bidding strategy. You'll see two main options here, one for conversions and one for conversion value. I'm going with conversions. You can also set a target CPA if you want, but if you're not sure what that is or don't want to deal with it now, just leave it as is. There's even a helpful little blog or info tab you can read through if you want to understand the strategies better. Next comes the budget. You'll choose your average daily spend here. You can go with what Google recommends or set a custom amount depending on how much you want to put into your campaign. Once you set it up, your ad will start running and that's it. You're in business. Then you'll need to create a payment profile. It's super basic stuff. Just to enter your details and click submit. If you don't want Google to send you marketing emails, make sure to uncheck those boxes before submitting. After that, go ahead and add your credit card info and your account is ready to go. And that's pretty much it. You've now learned how to set up a Google Ads account, create a campaign, tweak your ad settings, and get it all up and running. Hopefully this walkthrough helped you out. If it did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell so you don't miss future videos. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next one.